Hi, Twisty here, bass player for the Reckless Empire. Today I'm going to look at how to install the neck pickup on an attitude bass using the new Damasio Billy Sheen Relentless pickups. In the information below, I'm going to put a link to the Billy Sheen video on where he's shown how to put these ones in, the, the two split P at the bridge. The neck pickup on an Attitude Limited 3 bass like this one is a little bit harder. It requires a little bit more work than just a replacement of the pickup and some wiring. It also requires a routing of the neck pocket. John Willis from Dr. Tone's Helix Labs has um, taken some photos and on his website, on the Yamaha site, you can see cutouts of where he's done the routing. In this video, I'm going to show you my attempts at routing that pocket out. You can see the end result here. It's absolutely fantastic and the tone, unreal. I'll play some towards the end. So hold on for that. Word of warning, I am not a carpenter. I am not a luthier. I'm a musician and an IT guy. So if I've offended someone with the way I've used the tools or my approach to doing this, I apologize up front. But um, the result was the result and I'm really, really happy with it. Hopefully some of the things I pick up in this video will help you if you want to attempt this as well. It would be a similar approach for the Limited 2. I don't know about the Limited 1, uh, but if you leave some comments on the Yamaha Attitude uh, Facebook site, um, I'm sure John Wills will be able to respond to you. He's done some more research into it. Well, good luck. Let's see how we go. Ooh, I'm worried. So I've pulled the neck off the body and I'm now going to mark it up to see how far down this pickup needs to be. Now according to John Willis, um, after speaking to Larry Tomasio, this very strong magnet and there's a note that comes with it saying that it is. And so we're looking to try and get it to be roughly the same height as the top of the fretboard or just below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need, to, as you can see that's quite high, so I'm going to need to cut it down. Now I've looked at a couple of different ways of doing that and measuring it off and marking it and I couldn't really work it out until my wife gave me a great idea. Um, being a nurse she's very practical and um, works for me. So I'm going to use a digital caliper and I'm going to measure the distance, the height. So it's the height of that plus there's a little knob underneath. So I'm going to work out what that is. So according to this, this is at um, 22.1 millimetres. I'm just going to mark that off. 22.1 millimetres, which in inches apparently is 0 0.870 inches. Um, I'll go back to millimetres because I can't do fractions. So 22 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure 22 millimetres on a posted note. This was the cunning plan my wife had. So sticky ends at the top. So I'm going to use that part. I want to measure off 22 millimeters. Right, so I'm actually going to do 21, actually I'm going to do it 20 mil for a bit of safety and then I can modify it later as it goes through. I'm nervous about cutting into where the screws bed into the neck and so I want to be a little bit shorter and then try and massage it through because um, I'm not that confident at the moment. We'll see what happens when I'm finished. Okay, so according to that, that's 22 mil or point whatever I said it was inches. So now I'm going to cut along that line. And what that's going to allow me to do is estimate where the top of the pickup's going to be. So I just double check that. 
Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, um, but that's about the width of the pickup. So now I can go on my neck, and I'm saying I want to go at the top of the fretboard and across. So I'm line that up at the top of the fretboard, and then oh, try and make it try and make it straight. as I can. Right, so in theory, that's where I'm going to cut. So I'm going to use my pencil, I'm going to mark that where I need to do the routing. Right, so that will be the bottom mark <coughs> that I have to make. So I can't go any deeper than that. Now, if I use my micrometer again, or caliper, then I can see how much that depth is. So erring on the side of caution, that depth, so the depth from the heel is uh, about 12 mil. So again, in inches, that's 0.47 inches, uh, 12, 12 mil. So <clears throat> when I set my router up, I'm gonna to need to make sure that the maximum depth will be 12 mil from that edge. And from the actual cut itself, it's going to be 4.5 mil. So 4.5 mil, 0.178 inches. <clears throat> 4.5 mil. So that's the handy guide. Let's see how that goes. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape some of this lower part of the fretboard. Um, again, I don't trust myself, so I'm going to use some tape in case the router runs away from me. Now, I'm not sure you can see in the video, but I've, I've got the neck um, padded down on the edge of the desk and it's at the right height so that I can get a nice flush fit with this workbench for the router to go. <clears throat> now the other thing, I tried to get some clamping and it wouldn't work for me, so I'm going to use a just a weight and put across the top. Now to do that, I'm gonna protect that by putting another bit of um, uh, material across it, but I'm just gonna use a, a weight. Let me see how that works. So I've got a plastic covered dumbbell. Right. Again, I'm just trying to move, there's not much friction in there, but I don't want the job to move as I'm doing the routing. So I'm gonna use that <coughs> to try and hold it down a bit so it doesn't move. So that's the preparation. Um, let's get the rest of it going. So there's another couple of things that I did. So. I don't trust myself doing this routing part. I want to make sure this is nice and controlled and I want to control the depth. So to do that, I want to try and fix the router into a plane. So I've created a routing sled. This was, I got some um, instructions off YouTube, thousands of them. Effectively, all I've done is I've grabbed two aluminium um, angle line. I think these were like 20 bucks for a meter. And I've cut it in half. Um, what I've done is then um, bolt that to some blocks. The blocks are 40 mil. The length, the depth of the neck is about 40 mil. I'm not sure what that is in, in um, Imperial or American, but it's there. So the idea is that this will sit on top of the job. The router will sit on top and I can then plane across, move, plane, move, plane. So it's basically like making a planing station 
um, gives me a bit more control. So again, first time I've done it, but it should be cool. This took about um, 10 minutes to make. The hardest thing was generally making sure that these were parallel bars. Now there was a couple of different ways I could have done the routing. Um, I could, you can use a, a hand trimmer, which is very cool. Made for trimming around edges. Good for doing the edges of guitar bodies. Um, but it's not a, it doesn't really give much control. You have to incrementally drop it. It's, it's good, um, but for this small job, I want to have a little bit more minute control. You can use a big plunge router. Again, will work fine, um, especially with the sled. However, I wanted a bit more control. So I've gone with a Dremel. So I'll put instructions up there on where to get it from. Uh, I think Amazon have them. Um, this is a plunge router adapter for the Dremel. So the idea behind this is you set the Dremel in top and then you have uh, depth measurements and you can then plunge. So you set the router running, plunge down, drive forward, release, bring it back, move the job and repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So I've made the sled wide enough to fit the base of the plunging, and now I'm going to set this up and go from there. I've put the plane on, the rail tray. I've got the Dremel into the thing. I've set it to neutral depth. And then I th I've set it to about one mil there uh, below to um, see if I can get it. Now remember, I'm looking to try and get about four mil cut. So hopefully one mil will work a little bit. This is where the scaredy pants comes in. Good luck. Curse you, John Willis. Don't forget to wear eye protection. Well, so far so good. You hit the mark. Let's see how we go. Biggest problem with this Dremel is you have to keep cutting it in really small increments. It's not really designed to be a router, so um, it's getting stuck a bit. So, and the um, for 50 bucks, the router guide's not too bad, but it's um, you know, not perfect to set up, so probably I would have been better with the trimmer, but let's have a go. Okay, so I finished doing some of that. I'm down to the line that I decided I was going to get to, and I'm now at about, give or take, 12 mil, which is where I said I needed to be, um, which again is about approximately 0.473 inches. So at 12 mil, 
let's see how that looks. And if I get my straight edge. Double sided tape's gonna be a bit of a problem. Ish. Problem with routers, make a lot of mess. According to this, I'm now at the same height as the pickups. So I'm probably going to have to cut down a bit further to get below the pickups. Oh, pickups, frets. You know what I'm you know what I meant. So I'm at the height that I picked. I just need to go down about another fret level and go from there. The fret is approximately. One mil, one mil, 0.04 inches, about one mil. I'm running a bit of sandpaper over that, but let's see how that goes now. So, still heaps of wood there, We're down to 13.4 mil. That's enough. Perfect job. Pretty good, I reckon. It's lower than those. It's about right with that. I reckon that's pretty bloody good. Time to screw back on the neck.
Well, hopefully you weren't as scared watching that as I was when I started to do it initially. The end result though is really outstanding. The pickups fit nicely after that bit of routing. I end up only having to take about probably five mil um, of depth out of that, which is not too bad at all. There's lots and lots of wood still in there to, for the screws to make neck contact. Nothing, the neck solid, all jointed. The tone is to be to die for. It is really, really low, um, outstanding. Hope you like the tone when I played that. Please check out our Facebook page for other videos, um, some how-to on some Helix, and some of our original cover music. Good luck, and stay reckless.